Well, good day there, boys and girls. It's a beautiful day here today up at the off grid homestead. So, in this video, we're working in the workshop here again today. Now, today is a very exciting day. We're going to start painting here and get her all painted up. Now, finish all our drywall, finish the roof, and fed those solar panels through today. So, it's already evening here. And uh, so, I'll be able to do all my painting here. So, we're going to start here with a coat of primer uh, and then come back paint tomorrow morning and then tomorrow evening so we're gonna get her done here nicely guys we're gonna start here see how it goes see how we did with all our drywall and stuff you know time's gonna tell here real pretty quick how we did there because you know once we get her painted we'll be able to see it's not perfect but it's perfectly good enough so let's get right out of here so i definitely got quite a mess here around it's not too bad just actually cleaned it up a bit it was a lot worse than before there but These are kind of a bugger, there's so many nooks and crannies, like I painted the whole side of that wall quicker than I did this. So, yeah, it seems to be all going pretty good, you know, like I knew she wouldn't be perfect, but I knew she'd be pretty good. Okay, so I'm all done the roof, oh not quite, I still gotta do that piece over there, but it's coming along here real nicely guys, you know, making good time. Okay guys, so I guess this is the last of the primer there. Uh, it's all going good, like, one thing I've done here though, is, I got so concerned about thinning this out, uh, the mud out, uh, so I didn't have much sanding to do, that maybe I could even use a bit more in some places. There's no issue with seeing it, like, here, it's non-existent, except for the fact that there is the occasional air bubble, which is kind of too bad, but what can you do? I knew there would be some visible imperfections just because of lack of experience on my behalf there. Like, I've never done it before. You know, we don't want this perfect, guys. We just don't. You know, it's a workshop. There's going to be all kinds of stuff flying around here. So, I just barely had to dig into that. 
sun goes down or what have you. In here, in the dark, you know, we can go all night. It's no worries. So I kind of like it. Now, if I get my first coat on here, well, that's probably way too much. Shit. Now, if I get my first coat of paint on in here tonight, then I can just recoat the supplies for the next project. By the time we get back, it'll be dry and we'll be ready to rip on the next project. And I do have to get going there tomorrow, I guess, because it's Saturday and nothing will be open on Sunday. good enough you know fuck yeah it looks good well, I don't know to what extent our next coats of paint are gonna like see some of these corners there are hardly visible just be just because of the transparency of the paint we can see some of this but no it looks good even maybe even better than expected but we're gonna mosey on here now and have dinner shoot the shit with the pooch for a bit see how she goes back to cabin we go Looks like I left the lights on down there. Can you see it even? Okay, so back to cabin. I'd show you around a little more here, but I got such a mess. Like, there are so many things in here that belong in workshop. Like, look, I just got a pile of stuff there. It's not good. I'm cooking some breakfast sausage and some eggs there. in cheese, margarine, black pepper. It's good. You see Pooch Man here. He's just cleaning out what's left of that margarine container. He likes that. Oh yeah, we're eating good tonight, boys. Wish I had a little more sausages, but... See those eggs, boys? You cooked the cheese into them? Those are perfectly cooked eggs, by the way. Looking good. Are you sentimentally attached to this here thing, Dougie? What the hell? See how he cleans that out? Cougar, you got her licked, bud. Right on. Chuck that over there. We're in for a feast here, guys. Oh, 
tea here. Many cups of tea. Oh, we got a cup of tea going. Well, that's the tea. And it's, it's right deadly, boys, here. It is. Got my paint brushes washed out as well. We'll get that put in here. And open up our paint. So, to tell you the truth, I already forget what color this is. Like, I have an idea, surely. But, that's the color. That's gonna look nice. You see, I made her to the paint store there, guys, with five minutes till closing. So I walked in there, picked the closest blue I could find. I think that's gonna look nice. I'll work in with her primer here, too. I buggered that up when I painted the chicken coop. Had the wrong primer. Caused me a lot of time. Had to put a lot of coats on her. But it turned out good in the end. What do you figure? Okay, that's light enough. That's light enough. It should reflect the light. Like you can see how beautiful it is. It's fucking echoing in here. It smells deadly too. But it should be light enough to reflect the light. But if I leave it white like this, it's just like gonna get all stained up probably. I think this is going to be a nice in between. And I like blue. I do. Oh, yeah, that's some good stuff, boys. Oh, fuck yeah. We're going to get her down here tonight. We'll start where we started last. You know, it'll be the driest. You know, it's been four hours here in the good wood heat. You know, it's a, it's a dry heat. It just dried out. Like, she's ready to go. It's midnight here now, and we're gonna give her shit. Be not a bad idea to come through it and repaint. 
given up on paint, painting this bottom edge. It's useless to do anyway, because it's going to get covered up. And all I'm doing is rolling into the dirt and getting it onto my paint. So that's no good. So I just come down to about here. Okay guys, so I'm so I'm all done and, and uh, she's not perfect. She's just not. She's good from far, far from good. Like I said there earlier, it's kind of funny. A lot of my joints aren't perfect, but you know, like I'm gonna cover this wall, I'm gonna cover this wall. What can you do? There's, like it's very nicely well lit in here, but it's better than the downstairs in my cabin, like without a doubt. Like. And you need that good lighting for skinning and working on, you know, twisting wrenches on different shit, like, you know, it's important. So, uh, what time is it here? 2.30, not bad. So it took me about two and a half hours to do it. So we'll get up first thing there tomorrow, come through here, repaint it. I gotta head out, get all kinds of shit organized. I on my workbench, it's gonna go right here. Uh, I need, this is shelving. How much room do I have? We'll do some planning. See, like, I can't even work around here without scuffing up the walls, so, you know, I'm not gonna fuck around with it too bad. Where is nine foot? Perfect. That is gonna be perfect. Actually, it might not be. Okay, so I have three foot shelving, so I'm gonna have to put one in the corner. I got three foot there and then one and two because if I put nine foot here, it would be too close to the stove. Now I'm trying to plan out my workbench here. Okay. Seven foot is already too much, isn't it? Because I need this room here uh, to hang furs and shit. Okay. A six foot workbench is pretty damn big, isn't it? So if I go Six foot, maybe even seven. I need this room for the fur boys over there. Three foot by six foot. Like, is, is three foot? Three foot's probably good. That'll be square with my shelving. Make it look nice. Uh, yeah, that'll be nice. If I go three foot, now if I go six foot, I can buy, I guess, 12 foot two by sixes. If I go seven, it's awkward. Just dummy in this tape measure, aren't I? One thing you're gonna notice here about my wood stove is the pipe isn't straight and that it's not butt up against the edge of the wall here. Reasons for that, um, I, I gave myself lots of room there and I was glad to do it. I'm gonna have to take apart the stove pipe, clean the stove, move this shit back in the spring when we clean the stove pipe. So we, we just won't bother with it. It's not straight. It's kind of upsetting to the eye. <laughs> but it's also because I pushed it a hell of a way away from the wall, okay? So it's drywall. That black plating is thick. The way I have that set up is perfectly good clearance. Like it far, it definitely, like it exceeds the limitation to combustible materials and that's fire resistant drywall. So not at all concerned about it. But you could always put a heat shield in behind there afterwards. So, you know, it doesn't really matter. The, you just don't need it. Especially this stove, like it's in such a small space, it's not getting hot. Like, I gotta, like this does not get hot in behind here. This corner distance, spec is CF, 
18 inches. Got the the specs there for what how far away we need to be from combustible materials. We're not even getting close to using this stove at its hottest potential. Not even close. Well, it's been a long day, but there's lots going on here, guys. That's for damn sure. I got lots of stuff today. You see the lights on over there. I'm charging up the battery. Just chilling out here a second. Just got back to camp. Getting to work on the skinning shack here now, boys. Let's get right at her. Nice day today here as well, boys. She's good and warm today. See, I got all kinds of shit here, boys. Like, she's going strong. We're giving her shit. Fuck yeah. Okay, guys. So, we're just working on second coat here. Now, it all seems to be going on nicely. Looks down smooth and, and even where I just finished because it's drying quick and whatnot. It's real nice where I've just finished. You know, it's drying quick so I can see. Yeah, the paint's good. For sure the paint's good. There's most definitely obvious flaws in, uh, in my drywall. And uh, it was about as expected, honestly. Where the fuck did I finish here? Very good. 
guys, because even like already tomorrow, we're gonna get this all done tonight. Tomorrow, I'm gonna set up my shelving. I'm gonna start organizing shit because I'm not organized. I'm gonna put my workbench here and I'm gonna start getting shit done. There's gonna be a lot of long nights in here, boys, and a lot of lot of work done. That's for damn sure. And like for what I got into it, like it's gonna pay for itself down quickly. Um, it's a huge asset here, and like. I can't even tell you how much time I'm going to spend in here. Like, I'm in here long nights now, that's nothing. We're going to have to get used to them. We're going to have a lot of long nights in here. And if we're speaking in terms of, how would I say, conscious hours whilst not sleeping, well, I'm going to be in here a hell of a lot more than I'm going to be in my cabin, and that's a fact. So we're going to get shit done, boys. I can't wait. Like, there's so many little projects I want to fuck around with. Like, otherwise, when I just have my cabin, I try and fuck around with projects and keep myself busy in there when it's dark and I got nothing to do. It's kind of awkward. I already got so much shit in there. Oh, fuck, she's going to be a beauty in here. So I have lots of other projects on the go here today as well. I, I've been trying to do all kinds of things here. But the other things aren't going as good. They just haven't been getting my full attention. But, turn it away at them as well, so, you know, I have nothing to complain about. But like, like I said, it seems surreal to have this whipped up so quickly. Like, it's only been sitting here a month. I have, it has hardly kicked in that I have it yet, you know. I had to watch, I had to go back and watch my video, the first one from when we first got it. Just because I could already forget, it was hard to imagine how much different it is since it was a little over a month ago, I guess about is it a month and a half, fuck if I know. But anyway, so yeah guys, like, it just seems like so many projects, you get in here, you give her shit. You know what all we got left here, boys? Fuck sake. Workbench, shelving, set up my skinning area, move my shit in, done. Done. It's like, wow. And then my other big project is my battery bank on my cabin. Now there's just, it's not a big project, but there's, I had a lot of figuring to do there, trying to find the best batteries and how I was going to do things. I don't want to spoil the surprise of the video that come probably second, two videos after this likely, but I just about got her figured. I just need a couple more small pieces to the puzzle, guys, and then that's all ready to go. So it's just incredible here, like, what day is it today? The 14th of November, I think, maybe the 13th. Not the 15th, because that's hunting season. I've been working at that, but it's not looking terribly good on that front. It's, I've had this problem before. Like when I get into deer hunting, like it's full swing, like nothing else, it's, it's deer hunting. And I find the biggest buck I can find and shoot him. But this is gonna be the third year here now where I haven't got time to focus on it because I've busied myself with all these other things. Now I'm still trying to salvage it and find a nice deer here, but it's, it just hasn't been going worth this shit. Now I can feel it when I don't have the motivation to do something. Like usually when I get involved with that deer hunting, like it just consumes me. But like when I'm so busy with other things, I don't feel that same drive. So kind of too bad. I have to prioritize in future, like maybe next year. I gotta prioritize doing it early. This, this rifle season is just such a busy time of the year. I don't have time for it hardly. I did shot my last white tail deer in, in muzzleloader. Now that was two years ago I guess because I didn't shoot a deer last year because I was busy building cabin. Now the novelty slightly wears off once you start, once you've already shot a few big ones. It's, 
gets tougher to find bigger ones. Um, I'm pretty down hungry, so if I see an old, I'm very particular as deer I shoot hate. Like I want to know what I'm after. I uh, I shoot an old call box for sure. I know I shoot young deer or does. Don't. Um, anyway, we'll just give her shit there. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I'm out all the time tracking, so we'll see what we see for deer, but it's not looking good. I've been putting time into that as well, but it's not looking good at all. So, yeah. Get this beauty finished here though, guys. It takes me about two and a half hours to paint, and probably three quarters of that is on the ladder here on the roof. And then when I get on these lower walls, it's just rip mock chicken. It's fast as fuck. But you know, I knew she wouldn't be perfect the second it started her. And uh, yeah, as good as she's going to get, boys. She don't look too bad. I haven't even went through two cans of paint. I have three. So we're going to have lots extra for everyone to come paint it again. Um, probably will have to. Like, I can't even get around here without the, with the ladder without smashing things up. So it's kind of shitty. <laughs> lots of finishing touches to do here yet. going to let her dry a bit. Go shoot the shit with the pooch for a bit. And uh, have some tea, and we'll be back out here. It's 11 o'clock there now, so uh, just keep giving it a try. Okay, guys, so I'm just quickly working on base floor. I'm not too concerned about shit like this, but I got that ugly crack there that's just always gonna get dirt caught under it and stuff. This is essentially just a one by four in primer. It's gonna stay in primer. It'll look good white. It sure as hell is gonna get dirty. Like this is already dirty and I just put it in five minutes ago. <laughs> so anyway. So we're just gonna get these put in here quickly. And I'm using the door as uh some saw horse here. through each each um, um, each stud now it doesn't take much to do this this is not gonna go anywhere we're gonna butt stuff up to it right so we'll get her done here guys oh she looks not too pretty bad there right guys I did the door too it's all the way around eh so we're just now going to put Trim around the cathedral ceiling. I just got to grab it from my truck. We'll put it right in. So you see, they give us four screws, and they go like that there. But that's too long. So I've marked kind of what I want, and I'm gonna cut it. Okay, so this is how this all turns out. You see, it looks nice when you get her put in around there. That is too bad, but I did scratch this up a bit. Same with my chimney when we were installing. I'll see if I can't. See, I scratched that up. Yeah, I'll probably just, there's some mud on there too, so. Oh well, what can you do? That high heat enamel paint's easy to do, so. In the spring when I have more time, I'll come back, scrape that off, and then I got some painting to do here, and a bit on my stove as well. So, we'll get to it. It's no worries there, guys. There's 
it's uh, just about two o'clock there. Yeah, so not bad tonight at all. Uh, anyway, yeah, she looks pretty good, guys. Gonna do the job nicely. Fuck, do I like them lights, but she's well lit. She really is. Uh, anyways, let's go have dinner. Check on the doggy because I am hungry and I am tired. Anyways, guys, just getting ready for dinner here, but figure that'll be it and all for this one. Uh, first thing I'm gonna go do tomorrow is head, you be careful, doggy. You gotta keep an eye on this guy around dinner. I tell you that. Anyway, first thing I'm gonna do tomorrow is set up some shelving and start organizing stuff. They got it strung out there everywhere. It's a hell of a mess. And then uh, I just planned out how I'm going to do my workbench, so super excited for that. I really am. This guy's getting ideas. Will you sit down, buddy. So uh, we'll get that workbench done. That'll be real exciting and good fun there. And uh, yeah, then we're about done with it. Still got to hook up the solar. You got to wait till I get this stuff in. The batteries are right there. That's right on, so that's going to be right on, guys. And uh, won't take us long to do any of that. So we're about done. It's hard to believe already. Uh, the drywall. There's definitely faults there to how I did the mud. Like, everything else is fine, you know. Like, it's going to be good and it looks good. And, but there's more to that mudding than I realized when I first started on it. If I was to do it again... I would put it on there thicker and try and spread it out further, try and feather it out a bit better. I'd have it on there so thin you can almost see that, you can kind of see the outline of the tape kind of gives it away, so that's the problem I have. But we're going to get into some more practical stuff I'm more excited about here tomorrow, and uh, yeah, first thing we'll get out of there. Uh, anyway, that'll be it for me here tonight. I'm getting a little loopy here. I've been... You know, pretty tired here, so I better stop talking to the camera. Uh, anyway, guys, that'll be it all for me today. I'm gonna have this dinner, it looks so goddamn good, and then go to bed. I'm getting pretty loopy here, I better stop talking to the camera. Over now, guys.